everyone, my name is Anya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have another unboxing and a little update or a little introduction on one of the other plants that I have that is not doing so well and what I'm going to do about it. So let's start off with the good news. So during my time in the plant community, swaps and trades become a very, very big thing to expand your collection and I messaged this very wonderful lady called Wendy who decided to swap these plants with me and um, I just thought I would unbox them with you guys. What I swapped her, I will leave a photo in here uh, off the top of my head, it is a Philodendron Jungle Boogie, Philodendron Red Emerald, Philodendron Malay Gold, Philodendron Lemon Lime Heartleaf or Micans, and then also a Epipremnum Mandula Pothos. And I think that might be it. Yeah, I can't think of any more, uh, but I will insert a photo so that you can see the box that I sent her. And this is what she sent me. Now I've covered the address because I don't want you to stalk me. And I'll just get to unboxing. And we are in. So first of all, really, really well packaged. Love the bubble wrap. And then I know that everything in here is very, very Tradesgantia focused. So we have just all sorts in here. It's very wonderfully packaged. So she has sent me a, her label says Pothos, Pothos Enjoy but I'm pretty sure this is a Mandula. Um, so I've, I do already have one of these, but I'm still really, really grateful for another one. And it's obviously really, really well packaged and it doesn't seem to have suffered much in the mail. We sent each other our parcels yesterday and it's come today, so that was amazing. Secondly, I can see the Global Green Pothos. Now this, I assume is pretty new to the market because I've only seen this in the past two, three months. I mean, maybe I've been living under a rock, but the global green pothos, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful with its uh, green on green variegation as Monstera sport finders would like to say. And yeah, absolutely beautiful and a really, really nice large specimen as well. And great to add that to the collection. I love my pothos. Next I can see, Oh, she's really given me a lot here. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Thank you so much, Wendy. Can't even get it out. So next is the Tradesgantia Quadricolor. So if I just show you up close, as you can see, there are four colors in here. Uh, you've got your, your, your bright pink vein there, your purple, your green, and oh, your white. You've got your white there. So this is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. I think this is the biggest swap I've ever done. And this is, this is just absolutely amazing. Next up, we have the Tradesgantia Dragon's Tail. As you can see here, another really, really large one. I'll just give you a close up of what that looks like. This person also sent me some really, really good care advice on how to, how to care for all of these. And I'm really, really excited to put all these up. The only Tradesgantia I've got right now is the, um, it's just like a purple one. I'm not really sure what it's called. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was called a Wandering Jew, but I know that you're not supposed to say, call it that name anymore. So I think it's Wandering Dude, but I feel like all Tradesgantias come under that name. I'm really not too sure. I'll get it out for you, the one that I do have um, in a minute. But we'll just carry on with the unboxing here. So just, just to let you guys know, look at how full this box is. Oh my God, this is amazing. So next up is the Tradesgantia. I can't read this. Tradesgantia Prindeline. Prind, Prindly, Prindly and Vogue Prince. 
there it is it is it is it is very strange looking to be honest it's got kind of like mottled on its leaves and it's flowering which is a good sign and it's got kind of cr like crinkly leaves as well so um yeah i'll do some more research on on this plant and see where i get with that oh this one i am excited about this is the Tradescantia bright star written there look at its beautiful silvery leaves it almost looks very dracania like doesn't it a uh, nice rosette formation there i don't know if that's the correct word to use but that's what i'm gonna say and then we've got this is gonna take longer than i thought the Tradescantia bridal veil and turtle vine so i'm i'm not sure which one's which i think this one might be the turtle vine i'm sure i'll do some research and insert a caption and then there's this one as well um if i just isolate that one there we go there's one different one to these but yeah super excited really really like Tradis Gantiers. i know they like their trailing and i'm really excited to expand that collection because the only ones that you ever really see at the at the shops is kind of the green and white one i actually don't know any of the names and like the purple one so next up is the Tradescantia pink furry which looks very much like a Tradescantia nanook so i'll do some research into whether that is the same but really really nice specimen let me just show you the hot pink on these back leaves really really impressed and then we have the Tradescantia tabby and the Tradescantia variegated dragon's tail so i believe that this is the variegated dragon's tail and then this is the tabby now i know that tradescantias are really really easy to propagate so i can't wait to propagate these and kind of share them even more so then next up is this absolutely gorgeous deep purple tradescantia purple heart now the leaves on this are really thick considering it's a Tradescantia. I'm pretty sure I had one of these before and I swapped it with someone on Depop, but uh, unfortunately it didn't make it uh, when I moved out. But this is an absolutely gorgeous specimen. Let me just show you the back. Oh, okay. Right, so she has given me a Tradescantia Nanook. So if I just show you, there's a Tradescantia Nanook and a Tradescantia Tiana Elegans Green Stripe, I think in here. So it seems like this is the Tradescantia Nanook and this is the Tradescantia Elegans Green Stripe. So if I just pick up what I thought was the Nanook, might be able to tell the difference between them. Oh, I do see this one has a lot more furs. I'm not sure if it can pick it up on camera. No, I don't think it will. It's very furry. Yeah, maybe there. Yeah, it's got like little hairs on it, which is really weird. I really don't get why plants need hair. I'm sure some scientists has figured it out, but here are these two next to each other. I don't think you can see it behind that one. There they are. They look really, really similar. Um, okay, so moving on. Next we have the Tradescantia Meme Mem Lequis Lequis Ne. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Tradescantia fluminesis aurea. <laughs> Hello. So uh as you can see, this one is obviously the the, the aurea one. Um think it's got a little bit of variegation on it not sure if the camera can pick it up and then the Tradis, uh, the Tradescantia I can't pronounce it is right here it's got very very cool variegation I didn't know there were so many different types of Tradescantia this is really really interesting this is absolutely amazing I cannot believe how much she's packed in here I feel a bit bad for maybe not packing enough in mine I'll send her a message and make sure that she's happy with what I've sent her so then we've got the Tradescantia rainbow. Um, I'm not sure if all of these are the same plant, to be honest, because you've got like a pink one here. 
and then you've got a green one and you've got one with kind of like white yellow variegation on it so i'm not too sure this is absolutely amazing i feel like it's christmas i absolutely love plant unboxings and i hope that you do too because this is more impressive than i than i ever would have thought okay so then we have the Tradescantia sweet sweetness i can't pronounce any of these i'm so sorry Tradescantia jose pug dark one. Oh, so the dark one is apparently like a a jose p-u-i-g jose pug i'll i'll caption all of these because i know that my pronunciation is definitely incorrect and then i'm gonna call this the Tradescantia sweetheart because i I, I can't, I don't know what that says. If anyone can help, I don't know what that says. But yeah, this again looks a lot like the Nanook. It just seems like it's more densely packed. Oh my God, my pile's getting so big. So then we've got the Chadisgantia Blossom Field and the Green Hill. So let's see if I can differentiate between these two. Nope, it looks like they are the same plant. So let me just show you up close. You've got green at the front and really really deep purple on the back which is really really impressive for a plant when they can they can have two colors it's amazing and it in the light it seems that the purple disappears and it's very very reflective almost iridescent so that is the Tradescantia blossom field i think i'm gonna try and keep all these labels just so i don't forget and then we have a really, really, it's clear that this needed, he needed a haircut. This is the Tradescantia Zabrina Purple Silver. That's the one I've got. I have this one, but mine doesn't look anything like this. Mine looks a lot sadder than this. Just this, this person is clearly so good at growing Tradescantias and I can't say I'm the best. I think I've got a bit of a humidity problem but I'm still really, really happy to try these out and just just look at how gorgeous and purple they are. And then the, the silver at the top, absolutely amazing. These are hairy too, they're a bit hairy. And it looks like from being in here, they've already started rooting. That's what I love about Chinese Gantias is just how quickly they root. And my dog is now sniffing all of the packaging. Are you okay there? Yeah, I know, I know. Do you want to see the dog? Yeah, you are. Right. You want to see the dog? Come here. Oh. This is, I'm sure you've seen, this is Yo-Yo. Say hello. Say hello. This is Yo-Yo. She, she does not want to be in my lap right now. I'm going to let her go. All right, back to it. Right, we're nearing the end. So... The last one, it seems, isn't a Tradescantia, so we're ending on something different. This, if I can open it up, is a Syngonium White Butterfly. Now, I have had one of these before as well, and again, it didn't make the moving process when I moved out of my parents, but, if, but mine was never this big. If we just look at how many nodes and how many stems there are there, absolutely amazing it's growing wild growing absolutely wild and it's so well packaged and i just want to say if you are watching this wendy thank you so so much i am so grateful for these right then on to the bad news and i'm sorry to end on bad news but here is my philodendron dean mcdowell cutting now as you can see it's not doing so well I bought this in February of 2020 and it's now end of May 2020. There are no roots, it's yellow, and I'm honestly, I don't know what to do. So I went on Facebook and I started speaking to the Facebook group chat, uh, the, I think it's Houseplants UK or UK Houseplant, the forum on there. I posted some photos of the back, which I'll I'll insert in here, but basically the back has these black dots. I'm not sure if you can see. It's got these black dots. They don't scrape off. 
So I thought that they were thrips, so I tried to scrape them off. They don't scrape off, they're kind of like embedded. And as you can see here, there's a little hole from where I tried to scrape off one of these black dots. And it's just clearly not doing well. So let me just show you the node. There it is. I'm not sure if it's rotten. It, it's not squishy. So I'm guessing it's not rotten. There is a new growth point. So it's still got life left in it. I'm just thinking how much life is this sucking out of this node? So I have made the decision to chop it and I'm gonna do that on camera and we will just, oh, where are my secateurs? And we will just mourn the loss of this beautiful, beautiful leaf that was so, so gorgeous. I've got them. So I have cleaned these. I'm not sure whether you're supposed to clean them with rubbing alcohol. I use soap, to be honest, because I always, through my research, I always thought that what hot soap and water was way better than any type of hand sanitizer you can use. But I also just don't have any isopropyl alcohol or any alcohol wipes. So I just clean them with soap and water. As you can see, they're pretty clean. I do use these outdoors as well. So cleaning them is a good thing. And I'm just going to take it here and I'm gonna drop the leaf because it's dead anyway. And there we are. We have a very severed philodendron gloriosum chunk. I must say, so I bought the philodendron, uh, not philodendron gloriosum, philodendron Dean McDowell. Philodendron Dean McDowell. I bought the philodendron Dean McDowell from eBay. And now I've bought a philodendron parasi parasidio verde. I bought a monstera slitepicana. I've bought a philodendron pink princess i bought this and i bought a syngonium albo and of all of those i also bought a philodendron gloriosum chunk as well off ebay that was one of the first things i bought and out of all of those only the syngonium albo which was already a pre-established plant and the philodendron pink princess survived so i'm not sure if i would recommend i'm not sure why but i'm not sure if i'd recommend buying off ebay it just does not seem to work for me and it's got nothing i don't think it's got anything to do with the sellers i don't think it's got anything to do with the shipping i just think that the ones that i get on mark uh, not marketplace on facebook group chats and forums they just work better for me they do they work better for me so let's mourn the loss of this beautiful leaf or what once was a beautiful leaf so i think Sorry, I forgot to show you the two Tradescantias I personally do have. Turns out they're the same. So yeah, it is just one Tradescantia. So this one is the first one. It's in a little three inch pot. It's in one of my propagation boxes because Tradescantias, I don't know why, they seem to like humidity. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I'm just a hobbyist. I've not heard that anywhere. Just what I've found from my personal experience so this is my first tradescantia obviously it's a bit bare at the top but it seems to be growing and i keep chopping and propping and chopping and propping so there's about three or four strands in here and then the second one is this one which is looking a bit perkier than this one but if you can see i think they're pretty much the same plant and these i actually got off ebay a very long time ago when i first got into plants and buying plants these i don't think were even on the market in shops or anything yeah i got these off a seller on ebay and they were from some some island that is technically in the in the uk but it's like miles away i can it's not like one of the british isles it's like miles away i want to say guam no not guam no not guam i don't know i i don't i don't know anything do i so yeah you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll link all of my other socials down below. See ya!